Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm going to be doing a reading for the collective. Welcome, collective. Hope you're doing well. So, um, since this is a general reading, I'm not tuning into one person's specific energies. I'm tuning into the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like to schedule a reading with me, uh, the link to do so is in the description box below. Um, it's all sorts of tarot readings, psychic readings, business reading, house healing, energy reset around the holidays. So a lot to look at there. So, all right, collective, in the past, you were in the energy of five of wands, obstacles and challenges. What type of challenges did the collective have in the past? Feels like in the past, um, it, it felt like you you didn't have choices, that there was a, you had this lack of purpose. Um, life didn't go the way you thought it would go. Maybe you spent a lot of time um, thinking that you were creating a wonderful life, but it was, it was an illusion. It, it wasn't. It wasn't what you thought it was. And so it's like you just um, languished in this energy. Uh, it's, it just kept you from progressing. There is a, it's like you, you kept in this very uncomfortable stuck energy for so long, maybe because you put so much work into it, it's hard to leave something when you put so much time and effort, even though nothing is coming out of it. You're like, my gosh, maybe just, you know, maybe I'm close to the finish line and, and I'm getting, and I'm going to give up five days before I would have hit the finish line. Like it feels like you were talking yourself into staying. It, there was a reluctance to change, but there was just such a, a need for freedom. It, it feels like you, whatever you were staying in, you, you lost your faith. Something happened, so you you lost your faith in in whatever you were pouring your energy and time and effort and care into. Um, something happened, and you lost faith. It, it, as painful as this is, it feels like that was the correct choice: languishing and staying. Um, it, there was some type of lesson about uh, about leaving that energy, and it also feels like you left alone, like you you overcome obstacles and challenges on your own. There's there's something very important about that. So, collective and present energy is triumph. In present energy, you're moving. You're moving forward. Some of you might be moving, moving literally as well. We're getting close to it. That definitely I'm getting this energy from the past, leaving and, and leaving this connection, leaving whatever this unsatisfying, unfulfilling thing that kept you stuck. There's this energy in present time of fast movement, moving quickly now what it, where there once were delays and standing still and nothing moving and there's now this fast moving energy 
and you've been alone. Again, I'm getting this, you've been moving forward alone. There's something about your healing, about the independence. I do get that there is some gossip around you. Um, I don't feel like this, you're like, yeah, whatever. I've been through so much. What's it bother me if someone's talking about me? I get the feeling that um, there, there's something about what you, how you've gone your way, done things on your own, that is just all the talk. Feels like you're you're moving away from being dependent on others, on focusing your attention on others and on situations that are unsatisfying and and have no payoff. There's there's nothing to give. You're moving away from any energy that's um, not with you. feels like you're finding out in a real clear way who's with you and who is not. Hmm. I feel like you're redefining what family means to you you're redefining um i feel like you had this this picture in your head of what your a perfect life would look like and it feels like for the longest time you were working towards what you thought that perfect picture of what you wanted or what you should want and now through by what has happened and occurred in your life you're realizing that 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 picture is inadequate or it's not enough or it was incomplete or it was a picture without the emotions behind it. It feels like someone who's young and makes choices without the life experience and now it feels like you have life experience and and you realize more clearly in a clear way what it is that you do want and you're moving towards that right now might be you might still be excuse me in that process of of releasing releasing and detaching and healing um Family patterns is truth, uh, balancing of the scales. Truth in the family patterns. So the truth was not a, a, a strength in your family of origin. So family patterns, we're talking historically, family patterns that are coming up right now for the collective to look at. It doesn't, it seems that there's a lot of lies and manipulation energy in this family energy. There's a lot of control and getting people to behave in a certain way, controlling. And so there, there wasn't a lot of emphasis put on inner strength. And so it feels like a lot of egos and um, at the heart of it, it feels like a lot of people in this family dynamic were very insecure. It doesn't look like they they knew how to work with their emotions.
it just feels like um people who who don't want to put the work in to healing connections they just want people to do what they say they want to win they want to um it, it's not about a true connection it feels like collective you've worked you wanted to you've wanted to put in a lot of work into family connections you wanted it feels like you brought a lot of energy of truth If that, if this is resonating, it was not received well. You were not received well. Your energy of seeking the truth and wanting to work on these connections um, feels like a big thorn, a, a big no-no. It feels like every, it feels like pretty much everybody in your family of origin wants to stay unhealed, wants to stay, die with the lie. They want to die with the lie. They don't want to evolve. They don't want to. It feels like this is actually very important as a part of your development. And because it feels like choices, like do, do I fit in and deny my truth? Or do I choose truth and, and my own journey? I'm getting that if you're watching this, it's probably your own journey. Feels very difficult. Um, the strain of, of not being understood, not being accepted, not being heard which triggers like feelings of not being cared about, not being loved, not being appreciated. There's just a, a lot of wounding around being odd man out at this time. <clears throat> All right, a personal issue is nine of cups, fulfillment of wishes. Oh, all right. <clears throat> okay, so this is somewhat related to the family patterns. It feels like you've spent a lot of time. You're you want to have your emotional fulfillment, and from starting from your family patterns of of not having people who understand you they don't appreciate you you have worked so hard to get people to understand you to understand your point of view to like you like trying to prove yourself a lot of prove it energy prove that you are worthy of their affection and their care and the thing is it it hasn't worked has it like the more you work to try to get family and people maybe bosses to hear your see your point of view to understand they're not what you are learning is that you need to have clear boundaries just stay in your truth have very direct communication be very clear-minded. Sometimes a full sentence is no. Nope. If you find that you need to explain and and get people to understand, like, um, be very clear, direct, Be less attached to how they feel and about you and how they are perceiving you and care more about how you perceive yourself. Do you like who you are and who you're showing up as? Do you like yourself when, when you put your head on your pillow at the end of the day? Or are you like, 
Yeah, I definitely did my best. I, I, I like who I was. It doesn't matter how others are perceiving you. It feels like there's a, a lot of focus on how others are perceiving you and it's time to make an, a shift and care less about how others are perceiving you, especially people who are determined to not understand you historically. The more you care about yourself, the more you like yourself, the more you enjoy being yourself, there's a, a opportunity for shifts to attract people who also care about you. I feel like you're waiting for those who have never cared or shown that they understand you for them to show up so then you can care about yourself where it's the other way around it's care about yourself protect yourself make sure that you have boundaries love yourself radically a radical love of yourself to take care of yourself to not allow people who are mean into your space to not allow, but, you know, trusting your gut. I don't want to, I don't enjoy being around these people. Oh, look here. I can choose as the manager of my life to not be around those people, to not chase after their attention and their care. Um, your conscience is at three of wands, partnerships and alliances. Conscience in this card placement is what you would do if no one were to judge you. This picture does not, uh, right now I'm seeing the original tarot, three of wands, the turning the back, moving out, moving on to something new, something different. Feels like you're turning your back on energies, people, situations that are no longer um beneficial that maybe they're even hurtful you're walking away from those type of people who are in spiritual poverty feels like the the more steps you take away from people who are just determined to not like you you know, you're, you're not everybody's cup of tea, but it feels like the, the more it's like a, a rejection, rejection hurts so much. And so you double down instead of like, oh, okay. Rejection is divine protection. Instead, it, it like, it feels like a family pattern Rejection makes you obsess with needing to eventually get their approval. And so it feels like a pattern of going after people's approval who will never give it, like chasing after what you want to do is, is drop all that. It feels like you, you spend a lot of energy and time on getting others to see you or perceive you the way you do. And it feels like it's kept you stuck because you're, you're waiting for validation that how you're seeing yourself is correct instead of just uh, going for it. Um, your desire right now is a tower, this disruption. Oh, interesting. Oh. Um, I'm getting that the the more you love yourself, the more you learn how to create boundaries, the more you are in your truth, the more you work on you, 
and and let go of people no matter who they are no matter the connection if they're dissatisfying if they're someone who is not going to help you maybe some of these actively try to hurt you the more you distance yourself, the more you move up forward with your life, the more you stop chasing their energy, then um, there something will happen. There's going to be tower moments. You're going to cause tower moments. There have been people in your life who, who you've always chased. You've always begged for love and understanding from compassion to see you they're determined to not see you they maybe they can't maybe they're so wrapped up in their own stuff maybe you're an older soul and they're a younger soul there's so many different reasons why these people can't see you It feels very empowering, you setting boundaries, you saying no, you being very clear about what you want, because you're you're stopping focusing on trying to persuade people. And instead, you're just deciding, like, what is it that I want? What am I going for? And as you withdraw your energy, um, and attention, it feels, I, I just feels like in your wake are just towers, people having tower moments. I feel like you've been giving and giving and giving to a lot of people and expecting that so, at some point the, the tides will turn, they'll see me and they'll appreciate me. It's not happening. You're taking your energy back. You're taking your power back something really deliciously um, amusing about the energies once they realize that that you're no longer there. Um, feels like you've expended a lot of energy on helping others prevent towers. You, you help them so they don't have to... It, what I'm getting is sometimes people need to go through towers so they can have an awakening. Maybe you think you're helping by averting disaster or chaos in their space, but maybe they need some chaos so they they can appreciate. Um, your higher self is in the energy of shadow. It's time to face your shadow. It's time to face those dark aspects of you that were hurt as a child, that weren't understood, that uh, you maybe you didn't fit in your family of origin because you were, whatever reason, maybe you were an older soul and they're a family of younger souls. You also learned and absorbed a lot of those energies and it, it's time to look at those to be honest about who you are and who you've been not as a way of punishment or shaming yourself but as a way of of um it feels like soul retrieval you're realizing that the people out here aren't as important as you you liking you, you understanding you. Maybe there's a part of you that hasn't really understood yourself. Maybe it's been scary to, to look at those shadow aspects, to look at parts of yourself that are less pleasing. time to leave your comfort zone 
it's time to stop trying to be comfortable and and instead face what's uncomfortable. Seeking comfort, like an indulgence in comfort and not doing anything that's difficult that could be painful or scary ha has kept you isolated. For some of you, literally, like there's a lot of time isolated at home, separated. Trying to protect yourself from more pain instead of dealing with the pain that's already there. There's a lot of avoidant energy instead of how can I heal this? How can I empower myself and, and work through this? Your challenge right now is three of pentacles, recognition and reward. I'm getting to, starts with recognizing yourself. Looking yourself in the mirror and telling yourself, I'm amazing, I'm helpful, I'm kind, I'm generous, I'm caring, I'm loving, I'm lovable, I'm a great friend, I'm friendly. Recognizing all the work that you've done, recognizing how far you've come. You've definitely come really far from uh, the beginning family pattern to where you are now. It's huge. Your challenge is to move forward. It takes courage. There's something big, there, there's some big movement on the horizon. Some of you might already feel or sense this movement, a big shift. Some of you might be moving homes. Some of you might be um, getting a new car. Some of you might be moving further than you would expect. This feels fast. It feels like after such a long period of stagnation and, and a lack of movement, this feels like a, a lot of movement. So if you're, you're feeling like a little anxious, a little like, I, I feel like I need to be doing something, that energy is on the horizon. You're you're just intuitively picking up on um, some fast changes that are on the horizon. Temper it, be patient, rest, heal, because uh, when this hits, it's gonna it's you're gonna be very busy, there's a lot. Uh, your lesson right now is destiny, wheel of fortune. Something faded. Positive karma. Hmm. Oh, okay. Your lesson is to let go of, so throughout this reading, there's been talk about lies and people in your family and in your life who, um, have been manipulative. Um, don't know how to connect with their emotions. 
there's people who have a misuse of a pow of power. Your lesson is to let this energy go, to stop focusing on it, to stop bringing it into your thoughts. If it's already in your thoughts, to let that go. Lesson learned. Accepting what has happened. And move on. There's something about, there's something about letting go of this energy, letting go of whoever this is who has this um, control issues, manipulation and a misuse of power, letting go of their energy, letting go of their lies, letting go of thinking about them, not giving them any bandwidth, not giving them any time in your energy, in your thoughts even. There's something about letting go of them that is going to um, allow you to receive your positive karma. Something about being in this energy, being around this energy blocks your blessings because they've got some um, negative karma. And so by just even thinking of them and that's holding their energy in your space, but the more you let go of them, the more I am seeing this vision of like someday going, oh my gosh, it's been a week and I didn't even, I forgot that I forgot them. I, I haven't even thought about them. Like, wouldn't that be amazing? Wow. All right. So your advice right now is eight of cups, emotional withdrawal. Okay. Um, this again, the, the, the advice is when you perceive a rejection, when that old energy from childhood, when someone doesn't understand you, doesn't understand your truth, doesn't like your truth, it feels like you work super duper hard to try to, it's like you will work doubly hard. You'll spend so much energy trying to convince this person, improve yourself. And um, the challenge right now is to let go, to know when it's time to walk away. When it's time to withdraw your energy and and walk away from something that is something and someone who is determined to not understand you, to things didn't work out the way you planned. People don't, someone or people aren't believing you or understanding you or they're not seeing things the way you are and it make it's making you it's creating a situation it's creating a lifetime of feeling insecure of not feeling understood not being seen not feeling heard not feeling cared about not feeling loved not feeling belonging that's that's it belonging what you're working through right now, collective, is belonging. That it feels like you've searched out here, looking everywhere for where you belong. And instead of nurturing and finding your belongingness within, the more you decide and agree that I belong here. I belong here in this world. 
I belong in my body. I belong in this universe. I belong in this room. I belong. The more you activate that feeling of belonging within yourself, then you will see very clearly who does not belong in your energy and who does. It'll get more and more clear as you go along. As you decide to belong to yourself and what that must feel like, what it feels like, imagine what it would feel like to belong, to feel safe and secure and stable with someone in a group, in a family setting, whether it's a family, found family, but just know that you belong, that you're cared, that they people see you, people hear you, people understand what you're saying. Creating that first within, it is necessary. So, all right, that's your reading. I hope this was helpful. Take care. Bye.